Howdy there, it is Faye from Raven Faye Special Effects and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to clean an airbrush machine. Well, more so the nozzles and the bottles because that's what you'll be using whenever you use it, obviously. Mostly I'm going to be doing this for my other makeup artists at the haunted house I work at, Hangman's House of Horrors. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check us out. We're based in Fort Worth, Texas. So the things that you'll need to clean is 99% alcohol, some cotton balls, some Q-tips, and um, nozzle cleaners, which you'll see next coming up in the video. And I'll leave some links in the description below um, from where I buy them, Amazon, because that's where I found the best price. But yeah, hope you like the video. Alright, so I've got everything laid out and ready to clean. So I'm starting out by pouring the 99% alcohol in the bottles. Now before this, I heated up the alcohol to about for about two minutes. And what I'm gonna do is just let the hot alcohol sit in the bottles, and then I'll pour some where the nozzles are to pretty much just let them soak in the hot alcohol. Swish, swish, swish. I hope you like my sound effects because you totally have to use them when you're cleaning your own kit. Just saying. So finally I am unveiling the wire brushes for the bottles and the nozzles. I'll just kind of show you what they look like here. That one's for the bottle, obviously, because I'm holding it over that. Ah, oh, what a nice display. And then that'll go inside the nozzles. Alright, so here's the close-up. You pretty much just leave the alcohol inside the bottle, get your little wire brush, go back and forth uh, quite a few times. And then pour it out and eventually you'll pour in new alcohol once you get it kind of halfway decent clean and this alcohol I don't heat up you can it'll probably work better but I just put a little bit to shake it around shake 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 your bottle shake your bottle yeah sorry I have a terrible singing voice any hoosers Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you needed paper towels, but yeah, paper towels obviously will help you quite a bit. But I'm cleaning the outside of the bottle here. Alright, now that you have the outside clean, you're going to want to make sure the inside is super duper clean. So I just start at the corner of a paper towel, shove it in there, spin it around, seems to get it all pretty well. And voila, you have a clean bottle good for you so we'll go ahead and move on to the nozzles you'll just get one of the skinnier ones shove it in there twist it around do the same thing
and comes into play your cotton balls. I like to make sure to get the cotton ball wet with alcohol first to make sure I get any paint that was dried up in there. And then I'll use the dry side or another cotton ball to dry it up. And the final step of cleaning the nozzle to make sure there's no spray in there is to blow on it. In it, I guess. Sometimes you can clean the inside of it and there's still a little bit of paint left or paint with alcohol mix. And it'll come out on the cotton swab so you'll know if you need to do it again or not. But that was pretty clean, so yay. For the final piece of the puzzle is the portion of the nozzle that you twist to make the paint come out. Same thing, get a nozzle wire, shove it in there, twist it around, get in there all nice and deep black. This one's the same as the last nozzle. Give it a nice little blow. So as you see, there's some paint coming off, so I gotta put some more alcohol in it and blow it some more. You can also use your airbrush if you still have it plugged up to do this part, because the alcohol is pretty disgusting. And it'll trap your lips. So the final step is to stick a Q-tip in there, and that'll really tell you if there's any paint against the edges. Hope you liked the video. Hope you got some useful information out of it. If you didn't, okay, thanks. <laughs> but go ahead and make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channels for more videos. Usually I'll be doing airbrush, body painting, anything like that. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, somewhere around here, kinda. And then check out some of my other videos around here-ish. Thanks for watching and as always, Check you later.